Okay, so we're going to do some sideline pregnancy massage. I've got a bit of lotion on the hands and we're going to start off, I'm in a big nice wide stance, and we start off with some effleurage going up. Now I can be in this wide stance or I can kneel down, altering the height of the plinth just to make it more comfortable. I can also do it single handed, supporting the shoulder and doing one side at a time. Long flowing movements from the lower back, round the scapula, up over the upper trapezius and the other side. So round, up and over, round, up and over. And I'll probably do five or six of these on both sides just to get some temperature in the muscle. Supporting the shoulder just to keep the body still so there's no rocking from side to side. And then gradually I'll start to increase the pressure. Again, keeping really nice and long, nice and wide. Remember you can alter the height of the plinth as well. So increasing the pressure the more I do now. And now I'm going to focus a little bit more around that medial scapular border. Again, a little more pressure. Still holding onto the shoulder there. And round up and over the upper trapezius. And I'm going to go around the other side for this one. I'm going to drop down a little. Use my thumb now to push around that medial border of the scapula. So I'm going up round and over. So again I'll do five or six of these. I'm going to come back now, a couple more effluage, nice and long in the stance. And I'm going to start off working the trapezius. So again nice and wide, I can alter the height of this. And now I'm going to use my thumbs to roll over, use my fingers to draw back. So nice long from the neck, pulling back towards your chromium process, making sure I get as much of that upper trapezius as I can. And then from the other side, tucking my fingers in and then pulling. So this time I'm pulling down. So pulling down, and again I'll probably do anywhere between three and five. Back in, start rolling, and then supporting the shoulder, some circular frictions, and I'm going to use the pads of the fingers. I'm trying to find and see if there's any knots in there, any trigger points covering that muscle. And gradually, once I start to pinpoint things, I start to focus on them a little bit more. Then I can decide if I want to do any trigger point work. Maybe a little sustained pressure. And for this, I find I can use the pads of the fingers. You may want to use the thumb or a reinforced thumb pushing down. Because I don't want too much pressure, I find I can use the fingers there. I'm going to hold that on. Okay, let me know if that's too painful. So I can hold sustained pressure there. And then I could ask out of 10 how painful it is, hold it on, and then see if that number goes down. So I'm going to move on. Today we're just demonstrating some of the techniques that are in the book around that medial border. And I'm going to come underneath, start to use my thumb. Again, I'm going to drop nice and low, circular frictions along the length of the thoracic spine. Trying to let me know if that pressure's too much. And I'll do 
do the same on the other side, circular frictions. And now I'm gradually going to work my way lower down the back. And again, I'm just feeling painful there. No, it's not painful. Okay. And then circular frictions with a thumb. I'm going to do this all the way down both sides of the spine. So just above the sacroiliac joints, on both sides. So a lot of the techniques you would normally use, you can get down onto my knees and again, stabilizing the shoulder, I can use my thumb, circular frictions above and below the spine in that position. I'm going to change hands from lower down so you know, I can alter the speed make those circular frictions bigger or smaller. Both sides of the spine. See, it's a bit tighter down there. So I'm gonna use my thumb to do some deeper stroking with the thumb, long flowing strokes. alternating the left and right sides of the back. And I'll come back onto my feet, come back into my effleurage. Again, I can get in with my fingers around that scapula both sides use the thumb okay and that's just a quick demonstration of some of the techniques for the back side lying pregnancy massage